Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you how you can set up Excel within SAP GUI in place. So here right now we are in a transaction to display the amounts of cost center, so actual plan variance. And if I execute this transaction, then in the background the reporting data is being processed. And you can see right now like this, something similar. So a different screen, a different window uh, of Microsoft Excel is opened up and therefore basically um, yeah, all the data is displayed where it can work uh, within here and yeah this is uh, I think by default the setting and in this video I would like to explain you two things so first of all I would like to show you how you can set up Excel in place so there where the red bar and white screen is that there within here Excel will be shown and secondly I would like to show you how you can get rid of the error that no data is being displayed within Excel itself. Uh, you can also do this exactly the same for Microsoft Word if you would like to work with Word in place in the SAP GUI. But uh, basically, yeah, for this, the solution to set up Excel in place in the SAP GUI, SAP and Microsoft uh, have aligned on this and they came across that you can just set up Excel within SAP GUI uh, directly within Excel. So therefore you have to yeah, make some changes within the settings and therefore you have to open up Excel. So just simply type in Excel within the Windows search, open any Excel file and then go to file and then choose options and then within here under general there you have to select optimize for compatibility and application restart is required so therefore you click on ok and then you will close this so you have to to basically restart excel so therefore once again i would like to start it once again and now within here, I would like once again on the options, check, yeah, okay, the setting is there. This is great. So I will close Excel and then basically I will go one step back. Yeah, I would like to exit the report. And now I also would like to restart the SAP logon. So to do this, first of all, using the shortcut and EX, and then I log on once again to the SAP system. So I'm logged on once again and then I would like to go to accounting and then controlling and then cost sense accounting and then information system reports plan and then I'm in my transaction once again. I choose the correct controlling area, execute the report once again. And now here right now we can see the outcome. Yeah, that's that's great. So you have finally set up Excel within SAP GUI. Um, so now it will be shown in place. And now we would like to get rid of the error that no data is being displayed. So to do this, you have to extend your security settings within Excel once again. So to do this, you have to open up Excel. So once again, open Excel or any Excel file. And then you go to options and then within here you have to open up trust center, trust center settings and then you have to go to the macro settings because basically what is happening in the background because why are no data being displayed in Excel because Excel itself blocks um, the call from the SAP GUI so because it's not a, a trusted and because of that you have to yeah, make um, um, yeah, uh, enhance your settings and to do this you have to select this option enable uh, visual basic application macros not recommended potentially dangerous code can run yeah and unfortunately 
um, you have to make the setting and you have to really be aware of this setting because uh, you should not um, have the setting active at all because once you are done with the SAP GUI you should uh, at least select disable Visual Basic application because there could be some malicious code within the VBA so yeah this is I think really important to know in lower versions of Microsoft Excel and this is totally fine to just trust access to the VBA project object model but within here with the current version of Excel unfortunately you need to enable VBA macros in general because Excel doesn't trust the origin of SAP GUI yeah and then once you clicked on OK and OK within here then basically if we're going again one step back we would like to exit is here in the status but you could for some seconds see the root cause that the macros couldn't be executed so we are executing this once again And now we can see what I meant that uh, Microsoft has blocked macros from running because of the source of this file is untrusted. Yeah, and basically it just have this file path and yeah, unfortunately uh, you couldn't just simply add this file path to, um, to your macro setting. By the way, if you know how to add this file path Please put them in the comment section. I'd love to to get to know this. But for me, um, yeah, you just can can disable the macros or cancel this screen. And then what we can see right now, we can see no data. <laughs> and to display the data, so to uh, work with an Excel with an SAP GUI you have to go to options office integration and then you have to change the type of output to uh, xlsm so microsoft excel 2007 and then confirm this and now here right now what we can see that now finally the data is displayed in place within excel so yeah this works totally fine uh, unfortunately you have to do some some workarounds um, yeah that's in some kind of pity but um, yeah no it's it's working and what you have really to make sure in case it's still not running for you uh, in place uh, at least you have to go to the SAP GUI options so you can just simply when you're logged in uh, click on the button customize local layout and then choose options or within the SAP logon in the top left corner and then choose options and there within accessibility and scripting accessibility there you have really to make sure that this setting open office documents outplace for better screen reader support is disabled so it's not selected in case for you it is selected then you have to click on use accessibility mode and then here you have to deselect the setting because if this setting um yeah is selected then of course excel word will be displayed and will be executed out place so really have to make sure that the setting is not selected yeah and then what i also really would like to highlight um, if you work uh, out place in excel and you would like to close Excel or Word, then please first of all, because um, yeah, first of all, uh, cancel the transaction. So first of all, just just simply uh, click on this back button or the F3 key. Um, yeah, I would like to to execute it, and then afterwards, in case it's still open, close Word or Excel, and don't do the other way around. So don't close Word or Excel if it's uh, being called out place because uh, Excel or Word is being called from SAP GUI and therefore you still have to make the actions from the SAP GUI itself. Please make sure to follow this order. Yeah, and basically um, if you have any questions left for setting up Excel in place in SAP GUI, put them in the caption section. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos and to support my work. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.